have, as you can see, a Diamond Art Club box. Well, they changed their box so it doesn't like show that it's Diamond Art Club. And since my address is on one side, I decided I'd flip it on the side and open it from the back. So um, let's go ahead and see what we have this time. Okay, sorry. I had to get a quick drink of water real quick. I was having a dry mouth thing going on there for a second. All right, so I got this. I am so impatient, you guys. Um, I had to babysit for my sister today. And I was um, literally like getting ready to go this morning. It was about nine o'clock, I think. And we were about ready to leave and the post guy came and knocked on our door. And it was, I knew that it was these. And I was like, no, and I was like, should I take them and do an unboxing there with like my niece? Cause I think she would absolutely love it. She's six um, and absolutely loves all things to do with um, uh, diamond painting. She actually sat and kitted up a project with me today and had the funnest time. And I wish I had recorded it because if you could have listened to our conversation when we were doing it, it was hilarious. She is so funny. Um, anyways, but my daughter like decided, no mom, you shouldn't do that because you're babysitting. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you're probably right, but it would have been fun. And I, I kind of wish I had just because I think that, yeah, my niece would have gotten a huge kick out of it. Uh, she loves just looking at them and, and yeah, she just loves all things diamond painting. So I have trained her right so far. All right, so we've got a couple new ones, um, a couple that are on sale and um, some though that are on sale, I hadn't even seen before. So I'm kind of excited to go through these and I will probably start with the smaller one. Um, only one of them is the new release from this week, but uh, there's one new release from a couple weeks ago, I think. And then we've got, like I said, there are two that were on sale. Um, but I haven't seen them before on Diamond Art Club. So it's been a long time. So we're going to open the smaller one first. Then we'll put the camera back up and um, look at these bigger kits that we've got. So, all right. So we're going to start with this one. It is um, a, I think it's a round. Yes, it's a round. It's a 22 by 25. I don't believe there are any ABs already on it, but because of the colors, I think I have some ABs that might work with it. And so I might do that just because it's fun to do that. Um, and one of the reasons I wanted to get this kit was not only that I liked it, but because I thought that um, there has to be, has to be some of the colors that I absolutely love. So um, yeah. Okay, so the kit is just your basic kit, your pen, your squishy, your tray, your few baggies, and a thing of wax. Um, there's not probably going to be a inventory sheet or a sticker in this one because, like I said, this was one of the ones that was on sale. So I'm guessing it's an older one that just hasn't, I don't know, that I just somehow haven't seen. I was really surprised I hadn't seen it before since it was on sale and obviously an older one, so... Oh, okay. But I do have to say, um, even though I've been using Diamond Art Club since I very first started diamond painting, I've only like weekly and regularly went on to look at their stuff um, since like, I want to say April or May. And so if this one came about earlier than that, then that could be an obvious reason why I hadn't seen it on there. Oh my gosh, this one is packed tight, you guys. It's little, so but it is just tighter than tight could be. Let's see if I can get this side to kind of lay down a little bit. Let's see. Okay. Did it work? Did it work? All right. There we go. Now, isn't that pretty, guys? I love it. I love it. I love butterflies. Last year, me and my daughter, um, because she's homeschooled, we did a whole thing on butterflies and we literally got them. We found them outside, tiny little eggs, and we hatched them all the way up until they became butterflies. And we were able to set them free. I don't even know how many that we did, but oh, it was fun. It was so much fun. 
So this one is uh, 22 by 25. So it's almost a square, not all the way, but almost. And like I said, there are no ABs already in it, but um, so yeah, so it's the rocks in the background. If you can't tell it, you probably should, should be able to. And then the blue butterfly. And the blue butterfly, I am pretty dang sure there has to be 3846 in there. Like there has to be because yeah, it just looks like it. And that one is like my top favorite color. Uh, DMC code anyways, is the um, 3846. I like 3844, 45 and 46, but 46 I think is my favorite. And there is, yay. Okay, so I'll show you. I'm gonna show you all of the drills in a second, but this is the one that I was pretty sure was gonna be in there because of the color of the um, of the butterfly on the box. So pretty, so pretty. But anyways, I thought, I can't remember what colors that I have of my um, uh, AB drills, but because this is a round, if I have the color that I need, then I can kind of integrate it and just add that AB accent in here just to add just a little bit um, of extra bling. But I love it. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a really quick, easy project. So it's not gonna be like one of those, like if I need a, like what people call them, I think Rachel Ray was the first one to come up with the word snack project, but um, that's kind of what it is. It's just a little snack. It's not gonna take long. Like I could probably have this done in a day or two. Uh, and especially because it's around, it'll be even faster. So yeah, so it'll be easy, nice, quick, like refresher kind of project in between, in between um, my bigger ones. So let's look at those drills. I think we're gonna start on this side because that's the way that it's gonna go. No, actually I think it might be this way. It is, okay, here we go. So we've got, this is like probably the main color of the rocks, I would say. Um, and then we got more rock color, more rock color. 3846, how beautiful is this? Then we got white, creamish. Then we got more rock color, uh, 996, which is another color I like a lot. For some reason, I really gravitate towards the blues and the teals when it's a diamond painting. Even though like, if somebody outside of diamond painting asked my favorite color, I'd probably say pink. But when it's diamond painting, I definitely gravitate towards the blues and the teals more. Like 3843. Yep. Beautiful. Dark, dark, dark. Three tens. Not a lot of three tens in there. Yeah, there's not, there's not much black on this one. So for 430, 413, um, 820 blue, which is a really pretty blue. Then we've got 995, 796. Then we've got 300, which is like a light chocolate brown. Then we've got dark chocolate is what I call this one. 3371 dark chocolate, 400 and 301. So not a lot of drills. Obviously this would be one that would be like, I don't even know if I would kit this one up. I might, but there's only, I forgot to look and say, there's only 19 colors. So there's really not a lot of colors. So um, if I did this in halves, I could probably get without kitting it up. Um, if I wanted to take my time with it and go slow and maybe do another project while I'm doing this one, I'd kit it up then. But um, definitely wouldn't have to. Definitely wouldn't have to. Now the bigger ones, of course, you want to kit up because you're doing sections rather than like the whole painting at one time. Um, so, which I... I went over all that with my niece because I gave her a diamond painting. It's real small, it's a unicorn. And she, um, she's funny, she's like, oh, can I help you kit it up? I was like, sure, that's, yeah, you can help me. It's not gonna be that much fun, but you can help me. She's like, oh, I love kitting them up. And I was like, you do? I was like, and when have you done it? She goes, well, I haven't done it yet or before, but I love doing it. I know I'll love doing it. <laughs> so 
had to just like, yeah, Hannah, I said, you didn't have to kit yours up, did you? She's like, no, it's too small. But I think that um, if she came over and worked on it with me or she was like, if her mom brought it out for her more, she'd probably work on it even more. And I think I could give her, you know, a, a little bit of a bigger one, maybe like a, uh, 30 by 30 or 30 by 40 or something. Right now she has a partial, which is really good to start on, especially if you're a young child. Um, it's, yeah, partials are, are the way to go. So I'm going to kind of take the plastic off of these and I think I'll do this one next though. Yeah, I think I'll do this one next. Okay, so this one is older again. It is, um, this one is a square. No ABs. They had not come out with uh, AB squares at this point. The box is beautiful. Seems like all the boxes I've been getting lately have the, um, like, hologram, holographic pinwheels kind of a thing. Some people thought they were stars. Some people thought they're snowflakes. I think they kind of look like pinwheels. And when you move it, it like, um, it makes the, like the pinwheel move. Can you see that? Yeah, see that? Yep. See, it does not look like a pinwheel. Okay. Anyways, this one is a square. It is a 42 by 42. So it's a, a square shape as well as square drill and um, new enough though that it has the tweezers in there. I don't remember when they actually started doing the tweezers. I can't, I honestly can't remember. It hasn't been like a long, long time ago, but um, you know, mo I, w I didn't expect it to be in here. We'll say that. I didn't expect it because I figured that this one was older than that, but I don't know. Okay, so let's open it this way. Oh, it's new enough, guys. It is new enough. We've got stickers. Whoop, whoop. I love me some stickers. Makes kidding up the project easier and more fun and to me so much more organized because it doesn't have my kindergarten handwriting on on all the labels it has the pretty code that goes with it plus the symbol um which i like so i might do this one for my grandma i've done um last year i did a snowman for her for christmas and then for mother's day i did an antique sewing machine uh, but this one would be kind of fun for her, for her kitchen, or I don't know, something, because she really loves ugh, coffee. Yeah, she really loves coffee. Oh, I guess I should probably bring my camera out so that you can see what I'm, what I'm looking at and doing. Yeah, that'd be good. Way to think, Beth, way to think. All right, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do that. Okay, I want you to be able to see the whole picture. Um, isn't that pretty? So it says, in case you can't read the words because of um, it being just the, the canvas, it says good morning right here in the coffee. And then it has the coffee beans and you should be able to see that in the spoon and everything. Um, super cute, super fun. And my grandma loves her some coffee. So this would be a perfect one for her. My mom loves coffee even more, but I already did one. Um, that had the coffee beans and stuff for her last year. So this one has 25 different colors. And as I said, no ABs and it is a square. Um, and it is called morning coffee. That is what this one is called. So, and a lot, you guys, this one is going to work up like that. There is so much color blocking. Like I don't see any c confetti in this really at all, like at all. I don't see anywhere where there's just one, one symbol without the same next to it. So this one is going to be a fast workup, really fast. And because it's not very big, um, makes it go that much faster or seem to go that much faster. So yeah, that's going to be wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Let's take a look at the drills. Now, obviously the drills for this one 
are not going to be super exciting or fantastic because they are um, coffee colors. They are going to be a lot of like browns and that kind of a thing. But yeah, it has, I was, I'm actually really surprised it has the sticker to go with it. Uh, and this one was obviously kit up, you know, fairly recently because the sticker, it, it's that glossier sticker too. So that's the thumbnail. Let me see if I can. I love my newest one I got and I hope they continue doing this is that they're putting this on the outside of the painting so that it's not like wrapped up so tight, which is really nice when you're working with it. Cause otherwise they just, they just want to like, you know, naturally wrap up really tight. Okay. Take a look at these grills. We'll try to go quick with these ones. Cause like I said, not going to be that many fun ones in here. And I want to get to the ones that do. So we've got brown and orange and, and uh, dark, dark chocolate blue, like a yellowish, orangish kind of a color, orange, gray, dark, dark blue, light orange, brighter orange, brown, orangish brown, brown, blue, Tan, I think. Yeah, it's weird. That's like a mauve, actually. I would call that a mauve. It's like the color of my hand. See that? And then some blue. And then we've got white. Start at this end. So we've got, it's like a real dark peach. Um, and then we've got 939. So dark, 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 dark navy blue. Uh, and then it's like a brick red peach. What is that one? 762. Interesting. It's like a whitish off color. Then we've got our um, 823 and then white. I don't think there's any black in this one, you guys. Am I wrong? Did I pass it? I don't think we did. No 310s. I don't think I've got a Diamond Art Club without 310s in it. Maybe ever. So... Wow. Okay, let's put these away and I'm going to pause the camera. Why I do that so you don't have to just sit and watch me do that. So just one minute. All right, guys, I have already took the plastic off of this one so that it would be, you don't have to watch me struggle to do that because they're kind of annoying to do that. So, okay, dropped my kit. This one is um, new enough that they wrapped it in that new way I was talking about, which is really cool. So it does have the tweezers in it. Um, and we're gonna put the, so I'm not gonna show you which one it is cause I'm just like that. But what I am gonna show you is I like it much better when it comes like this because then it's not so tightly wrapped, um, which makes that just that much easier, I guess. So we're gonna put the drills to the side. Um, they also put the instructions on the outside and the instructions are new as well. Uh, if you want to see the new instructions, then you can go to my last week's, um, or my last time, I believe it was Melinda and, no, it was Angie and Oliver, uh, if you want to go and see your, your instructions, go watch the unboxing of Angie and Oliver, um, Diamond Art Club, but it's the Hannah Lynn one. Um, and I kind of showed you the new instructions because I'm not going to keep showing those because to me that's really boring. So I'm not going to look at it. I'm just going to turn it. All right. This one, I haven't yet decided if I'm going to keep and do it or if I'm going to give it away in a giveaway during Christmas time. That should be kind of a clue as to which one it is. I already opened the snowman one. Um, that one is staying here, I can guarantee you, because I love snowmen. My family, my mom, everybody loves snowman. So that one's not going anywhere. But this one, um, I would be okay with if I had to give it up or if I felt like I should or would or want to. So it is Santa Claus. Good old Santa Claus. So cute. I'm gonna turn it to the side so that you can see the whole thing. 
Um, I am waiting for my tripod to be fixed. I kind of tried to fix it on my own um, and I was able to do a little bit of it, but it's still not working well. And so I'm having to use my desk, um, my desk arm one that I have. Um, so yeah, but okay, so there we go. It's on its side. It's not pretty though. I really like it. I really do. With Santa and his reindeer and they're kind of looking off to that North Star. Um, and I think like supposed to be like Bethlehem kind of behind here. Um, really, really fantastic diamond painting. I really, really enjoy this one. Um, all right, so let's just do this so that you can kind of see most of it. So yeah, I think, and this one does have ABs. It has two, two ABs in it, um, which is the white and yellow. So the white is definitely going to be all this like snow and like blingy areas. And then the yellow is going to be probably maybe a little bit in the reindeer. I'm not sure, but mainly these lights down here are going to be the yellow AB. That would be my guess anyways so yeah so all of these lights on right here those are your yellow ab's and that's actually all the yellow that's in any of this so the reindeer doesn't have any ab's but um let's see two so santa of course he's got ab's throughout him um and then all in the snow down the sides and down here ab's are just kind of mixed into all of that so very very beautiful piece it is a 38 um color painting it is a 42 by 57 centimeters and it's called starry night santa and this one is a square as i already said so let's take a look at the ab's in this one pull you back down just a little closer so i have to like stick my hand way up there to show you the drills okay so I'm guessing a lot of blues, some reds, some whites. The next one though that I'm going to show you is going to have kind of a plethora of colors. And those are my favorites. I love when there's a ton of colors. Okay, we'll start with this train as I call it. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Four packs of $7.99. So four packs of this color. A lot of that one, obviously. Then we've got $7.97. Beautiful blue. And there are two of those. We've got like a really light, light aqua. $7.96. $7.99. And we go back to that brick red. That's, that is a beautiful deep red. That is a deep red. Very pretty. Uh, chocolate, milk, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, tan, lighter tan, 939, dark, dark navy blue, 823, and then a tan. I'm having like a hot flash or something going on, guys. Holy cow. I need to go stick my head in the freezer or something. Okay, look at all of that. Now, does that not look like snow or what? Yeah, and that's a lot of them. Like I said, it's going to be all over this. All over it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, there are three 820s. Love that color. Beautiful color. Um, a lighter blue, which is 3325. And there are two of those. And then we go to more of our light colors that are kind of spread out and kind of all over the place. And we know this because they are in the last train that is really lightweight um, because they do go by weight. So here's a 321, which is pretty much like your, if I were to say like original generic red, that's what that would be. We got greens. 666. Somebody out there, favorite color. I really like that blue. That's a pretty blue. Evergreen green. This color I really, really like. It's like a really pretty fuchsia color. Look at that. Gorgeous. And then we've got some purple. And then we've got 
our orange AB. And I didn't even think we were, I thought we only had, oh, these are the yellow ABs. Okay, so they are kind of like, I thought they were more of a yellow, but they're more, these ones are actually orange. So these are gonna be those lights on in the city. Lights on in the city. Okay, so those are the drills for the Starry Night Santa. And um, yeah, these are gonna be, this one's gonna be really gorgeous, I think. Really, really gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna pause you again so that I can clean this one up and come back with the next one. So hold on one second. Okay, so even though that seemed like a second to you guys, that took forever for me. That was like a whole, I don't know, hour or something in between. Um, yeah, okay, anyways, I, we're having some problems. Our doggy is pretty sick and um, so I had to take care of some things and this is the one like I wanna open the most. So this is the one I wanna see the most. <laughs> so I was like, ugh, cause I really wanted to get in here and open this, but I feel like I've already been waiting forever and really hasn't been that long, but I got really used to like, if I was getting something from Diamond Art Club that I'd order it on Saturday and it would be here by Wednesday. And now I ordered it Saturday and it's not ever here till like usually Friday or even Saturday. And so I'm like getting used to like that. And then I usually like right as the mailman drops them off, I'm like, oh, hey, I'm opening it. And then I had to wait all day. I know some of you wait a lot longer. So don't think I'm like, you know, be boohooing or anything. I'm just, um, I'm just talking. I'm just talking. Because I already, I am very, very impatient. Um, so yeah. Okay, so this one, normal kit. Um, it has two waxes, tweezers, um, a pen, a little squishy, a tray, and some um, some baggies. So typical stuff in there. And so obviously it is a square since it came with tweezers. And I'm guessing you already know if you have looked on Diamond Art Club's, um, I cannot get that off and I feel like I'm just gonna be ripping it to pieces if I try, so I'm gonna cut it. Um, if you have looked on Diamond Art Club's site, I'm sure you already know what this is because I'm predictable. I am predictable. Hoping that we've got a sticker in here. We do. So it's funny because I think sometimes, even though they're brand new and they're like just released, doesn't mean that it's just been packaged um, recently because like this one, it was, it was uh, packaged kind of the way the old ones were. So sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm totally guessing what I'm gonna get depending on what I'm opening and when I'm opening it. Like, cause this one's just came out and, but it's packaged the other way. So who knows anymore, right? But anyways, if you have looked on their site, then you probably know what this one is because I am pretty dang predictable. Pretty dang predictable. Okay guys, ready? Are you ready? Let's see, I'm trying to flip it to where you see it first and I see it at the same time. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, she is so pretty. Oh, look at the curls in her hair. Oh my gosh, you guys, seriously. These are killing me. They really are. They really are. Because I want to do it like right then and now. Luckily, when I put it in my closet, I'm able to somewhat like, you know, separate myself from it and everything. But man, some of these have been hard to put away. I can tell you. And the dragonfly, the colors of the dragonfly. For some reason, this is catching my eye too. Just this like yellow orangey area through here. It's just really, really beautiful. Um, one of my favorite parts of the Hannah Lynn uh, pieces are the eyes and the cheeks. I don't know, I just love them and they're tiny little lips. Um, seriously. And the nose is made up of a whole five girls. <laughs> five! Anyways, this is stunning. I, I knew I was gonna like it when I saw it. But then seeing it in person is totally different. Totally different seeing it in person, you guys. Um, okay, so it is a 55, no wait, 
59 by 42. Um, her name is Dahlia. And it is a square with ABs. And it has one, two, three AB colors in it. So the ABs that are going to be in it are going to be like a pink or purplish, a white, and the blue. So blue is obviously, so our colors are, our symbols are one, two, and then like that L kind of looking one. So all throughout her hair, they're going to be. Um, and then in her eyes, there are going to be the blue, the blue color in her eyes. That's all AB. Um, and then as we look down here, all the white in this dragonfly, um, and the white in her eyes, those are all ABs. Um, and then the pink color is going to be in this dragonfly. A lot of pink through here is going to be the ABs. Um, and they are going to be gorgeous. Oh, this one is going to be stunning. Absolutely stunning. It already is when it's not even done because they do such a good job and like their canvases are really sparkly. Um, and so they already look beautiful before they're even done. And I didn't show you on the other ones. I forget because I mean, come on, when have I ever or anyone ever got a diamond art club that wasn't sticky? Never. I have never at least. Um, so uh, yeah. Okay. I'm getting a call from my son's school, so I'm going to have to take it. Hold on one second. Okay. I had to move my camera around there to answer it. So anyways, okay. No big deal. It was just, it was the automated system reminding me that his, uh, lunch thing needs to be done. So, <laughs> um, anyways, kind of important, but not like something that I needed to answer, but I'll tell you, you guys are probably like me if you have kids, if your son, your kid's school calls, like it doesn't matter what you are doing, you answer that phone. Like, I mean, he's not even there anymore because it's five o'clock. Um, so he's home, but still like <laughs> I'm answering that phone if that's, if their school calls me. So, okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the drills because they are going to be gorgeous. I'm super excited for the drills for this one because of all the colors. There's just so many different colors, um, in this one. And I love working with doing a painting when you got like a rainbow of drills. The one I just kitted up earlier um, was Angie and Oliver. And I tell you, it's just like one big giant rainbow. Okay, we will start with, oh my gosh, that's a long one. That is a long one. There's a lot of colors. How many colors? Did I tell you guys that? I don't know if I did. 35, 35 colors. Okay, so we're gonna start this way. Gorgeous. I love these fuchsia pinks. They're so pretty. Then it's kind of like a pale baby pink almost. Egg yolk. My brain was fogging for a second there. Another pretty pink. Some greens. This I think is my favorite color fuchsia. It's that real dark fuchsia. Purples and reds and pinks. Oh my. Oh, there we got it. The AB pink. I love the pink on the AB. I mean the AB on the pink. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. The other day I was talking about the candy that I was doing for the um, trick or treat with me. And I said, um, I was talking to my husband and I can't remember if I said, um, I said Swix and Twickers <laughs> and he was like, or and tweaker, tweakers. That's what I said. Swix and tweakers. And he was like, uh, what'd you just say? And I don't even catch it when I do that. Luckily I did. I'm surprised I caught it there when I said that because normally I am like out to lunch and I'm like, what? I didn't say anything. What are you talking about? Purples, purples. Green. Ooh, look at that green. Man, that's just kind of a pow in your face color green. Lilac. All right. And this next one has, um, which by the way, like if you got used to like Manny Manzano's 310s, then you're good because 
Candlelin is the same way. Um, I look at it kind of as like that color book kind of a style. Um, and there's one, two, three, four, five, three tens in this one. Big bags of three tens. My niece was so cute when we were doing them earlier. She's like, wow, that's a lot of black. Oh my goodness, there's still more. Oh my gosh, how many blacks are there? <laughs> she was just going on and on. It was hilarious. I was like, well, there's a lot. 38, 46, yes, that's my favorite. We got peach, peach, two different, or are they the same? They're the same, two the same. Peach, but look at their AB. AB, AB, we have an AB, 138, gorgeous. I think my favorite ABs are the 138 and then I can't remember what number it is, but it's the purple blue. It's so pretty. I, it like literally defines what a mermaid unicorn type thing should be to me. Dark peach, 797, which is like in between a blue and a purple. AB, 141, it's that like snow slash like sweetened coconut look. That's what that reminds me of. Greens, orange, blues, orange. Wow, those oranges are so close together. Look how close that is. That is some dang close orange. This one's like one shade darker, like one shade darker. Then we've got a dark orange right there and a pink. Ending on a pink. So beautiful drills. I'm excited for this one. Um, I won't be doing this one probably for a little while though. So I've got quite a few ahead of it, but I couldn't stand it. And I did, like I said, I did kit up Angie and Oliver. And I'm probably gonna work on that one some this weekend because I just can't not. It's just too pretty. Um, it was just calling and beckoning to me and I was like, um, okay, I give in. I give in. I'll still work on my other ones because I'm trying to get all of them done for Christmas. But this one, um, this one definitely going to be in the line when Christmas ones are done. Which probably won't be till after Christmas, but you know, that's okay. That's okay. So, okay guys. That's all I have for you today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your like Friday. It's five now. You probably won't get this up for a few hours or you won't see it for a few hours. I won't get it up um, till then. And so I hope you guys have a good weekend. I hope you join me tomorrow for my live 6.30 uh, Pacific Standard Time um, tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of fun. We joke, we laugh, we go over stuff and I show you cover minders if I've got any new ones um, this week. So yeah, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think. So with that, keep on shining and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't already and would like to subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and the bell icon to be notified when I put up a new video.